Formula One V8 Supercars is the biggest, fastest and definitely loudest race series in South Africa. Packed with Jaguar, Ford and Chevy V8 muscle, high-speed door-banging action is guaranteed. Mobile One V8 Supercars has been running now for over, over 35 years. Um, our current racing format is very similar to the likes of the Trans Am cars, Face Ram cars racing on uh, Goodyear radials. Our series actually started in the late 70s and progressed from turbo, normally aspirated cars, turbocharged cars and eventually became a series of V8. V8 Supercars is a, a V8 formula based on the Trans Am series in the US. So it is normally aspirated V8s with a four-speed non-sequential box and a nine-inch big locker diff. We've got uh, some good tracks to race on in South Africa. We've got Kailami, which is world class. Kilani in Cape Town, which is a historical track, including East London. Red Star, which is a go-kart type track. And Pakisa, where we are this weekend. The six event series is known as the Rolling Thunder and the five-litre V8s duking it out ensure a deafening roar on race day. The two main engines are Ford and Chev, and they, they both develop the same amount of horsepower, slight variations, the Ford's got a bit more torque mid-range, the Chev's got a bit more torque on the top, but the way the rules are and with the spec cams we run and the spec rules we run, they're very, very similar. It still runs a carburetor, it still runs a, a, a gear shift on it and we're doing the same times or even faster than motor cars with sequentials and all these sorts of things. Every time I climb in they really amaze me that a plain car like this can do the times that it actually does. All the cars are strictly controlled, so weight, engine power, tyres, brakes, everything which makes the series very competitive. That's why these cars are so awesome to race. Although they're not destined for Formula One, the drivers are serious racers and a double bill of action with a reverse grid race two ensures plenty of overtaking. The one thing that uh, these guys know, they're not scared to park the car in a door or things like that to get past. This is proper, proper racing, no holding back. So it's close, it's competitive, but there is a mutual respect. At the end of the day, we're not factory drivers. You damage the car, you're going home to fix it yourself. The grassroots feel inspires a shared excitement with fans relating to both cars and drivers. Four-time champion Maki Adlam is one of the favourites again this year after securing the title in the final race last season. All the drivers share the same passion, a passion for these cars. And we've got everything from youngsters to the old guys and everything in between. And some of the big names that uh, South Africa has ever brought to, to motorsport has been through this formula. We have young guys in their early 20s and we have guys in their 60s that have been racing forever and a day. And in this series, experience counts, so it's not necessarily your age that's going to help, it's knowing what you're doing. I've been racing the V8 since 2005, and prior to that, I had raced Formula One power boats. And when I was looking at getting back onto four wheels, the only cars that interested me were the V8 because they're still drivable cars. I'm still the old school where I don't tune on a computer, I tune with a screwdriver. The V8s is a hands-on series, but although most of the teams are small, it continues to grow, relying on a close-knit paddock that's always there to offer a helping hand. Actually, I has one of the biggest teams around. I help four cars in the series. You know, you've got to help them. All the old men actually have to help the youngsters, otherwise they'll just disappear. We're one happy family at the end of the day. The guys have all stuck together and we've actually made it work. The one thing about our formula is the other drivers are not scared to get stuck in and assist to get cars on the track, and I think that's the important thing. Our series is not quite divided like others. We're really uh, a, quite a good family. 